welcome back to my channel. The new movie Venom is coming out soon and I thought I would make a Spider-Man drone for this video. It will not be an ordinary Spider-Man drone, but a Spider-Man drone that is powered wirelessly. Alright, here's the 3D printed parts for the spider drone. These are the four legs of the drone and they spread out to become eight legs, as you can see here. This is the head of the spider, the dome of the body, some feelers and cosmetic stripes on the body and this is where all the parts will mount onto this is the mounting plate that holds everything the drone nose in it should be like that should be this way for the stripes and let's go to the legs go it's like it's like a huge zigzag puzzle so bad with me all right so just lift this up tuck in the legs all right it's looking like a spider now don't you think and the caps to mount the models The drone is not complete even with the motors mounted. We need to use a heat gun to bend the legs so that they crawl like a spider. In order to wirelessly power our spider drone, we are going to use this pair of PCBs. The left PCB is the transmission circuit. It will wirelessly transmit up to 12 watts of power. The right PCB is the receiving circuit. It will receive the power that is transmitted wirelessly from the left board. I got this from AliExpress and the product is also called the PCB Adjustable Source Module Lamp. As you can see, it consists of four super bright LEDs which are powered wirelessly. Also from AliExpress, I got this electromagnetic levitation system which can carry up to 200 grams in weight. Although at the start of my video, I did mention that we are going to build a wirelessly powered spider drone. The problem is the wireless power supply will not be sufficient for the drone to hover itself in one spot. So I'm going to make use of this levitation system to make it seem as if the drone is flying on its own. For aesthetic purpose, we use these small cordless DC models to spin small props and all the heavy lifting is done by the electromagnetic levitation. Since these 4mm models each requires a typical start current of 105mA and a start voltage of 0.5 volts, multiplying current by voltage returns a minimum start power of 52.5 mW required for each model. In total, 4 models will require 0.21W to start. Now our reception board generates a maximum power of 12W when it is 5mm away from the transmission board. If this distance is increased to 40mm to match the levitation's height, the 12 watts get reduced to 4.8 watts of power. This is still more than 20 times the power we need to drive all 4 motors, which is great. Well, notice that I've removed 3 LEDs and left only 1 LED on the reception board. This LED is actually needed to drive the DC in one direction. It's also worth mentioning that this 1 LED alone consumes 0.9 watts of power. The good news is the total power consumption does not exceed 4.8 watts, which is good. However, having one LED leaves us with only three output ports available for four motors. To solve this problem, I've hooked up two motors in parallel to each output. As for that one unused port, I connected a jumper wire to allow continuity of the series circuit. And now we're going to test this setup and we should see all four motors pull up nicely. Alright, in this shot you can see I've soldered the magnet wires to the wireless power reception board here. So, um, there are four magnet wires soldered to these two leads here. Two magnet wires go into this model here. And two other magnet wires go, to the, go into the model here. And adjacent to this port, we have uh, the same thing going on over here, which are two magnet wires going to the model there. 
and two magnet wires going to the model here. And before soldering the ends of the magnet wires to the wires of the four motors, I'm going to install the model first, as is easier. So here's um, the model cap and insert it into the model cap. And light the model drop out through the cap, like so. And then we let the model drop through the hole here. So there's one done and I'm going to do the other three. And then we can solder the wires. Alright, here's the Spider-Man drone and it's almost complete as you can see. Basically the four of those wires are hooked up via magnet wires to the reception board. You could use normal wires but here I'm using 28AWG magnet wires. And the four tiny props are really for show. I may change them to bigger props. But for now, I'm using these tiny props to simulate movement. Instead of sticking this magnet directly to the belly of the drone, here I'm using three border cocks and a wooden disc, a spacer. Basically, this spacer is for positioning the drone much higher in space, so that as the magnet gets levitated, the drone appears to be flying much higher, and this creates a better optical illusion. However, it's pretty ugly to stick this to the belly of the drone. So I use some black heat string to give it a matte black finishing. For the power supply system, we are using one of these AC to DC adapters, which are normally used to power hard disks in computers. The adapter outputs 12 volts and 5 volts, both at 2 amps each. And this is great for our application here because the wireless power supply board runs on 12 volts and the electromagnetic levitation system here runs on 5 volts. To match the Spider-Man drone here, I've 3D printed a launch pad and a Spider-Man logo. This is the logo from the Spider-Man Homecoming. And basically it's stick on after it's printed with red PLA. And here this is the wireless transmission board being stick to the launch pad. There are holes here for the wires to go through and out through the back. Two holes at the back here, one for the power supply to the electromagnetic levitation system and the other to supply power to the wireless transmission board. It looks like this from the inside. Lots of hot glue used to secure it and to keep everything in place. But that's about it. It's a very simple design, so you should have no problem doing up this launch pad. So there you have it, a wireless powered Spider-Man drone that flies forever right on your tabletop. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.